Welcome along gang to Diary of Japan episode two. In this episode, we visit the very famous Shibuya Crossing. I take Alex and Tins on an epic tour of Tokyo City, visiting some exquisite coffee shops. We have our very first live House of Rugby show. And then Tins and I have to wake up extremely early to go to Hong Kong, where I act as an auctioneer at a dinner. If you missed the very first episode, you can visit YouTube and Instagram. If not, sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Look who's just arrived, eh? Mike Tyndall, Sir Tyndall of Tyndalltown. Amazing. Uh, how are you feeling? Ready to rock. You excited? Yeah. Have you been to Tokyo before? Uh, twice. <laughs> Sorry about that. International world traveller. Yeah, but not like only like two days, one day. Did a one day, one night karaoke piss up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Amazing. Uh, and then, but I think we're going to get into the under, underground scene. What, the uh, Tokyo Drift? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know. I was quite in with the accuser when I was here, but like, I just had to forget about that life now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but we're here. Tyndall's here, or Sir Mike. Who else? Uh, Alex is here, but he hasn't bothered coming down for breakfast. Um, are we actually going to this Kill Bill restaurant tonight? What? No, because where is the show? Oh, shit, you've got a live show tonight. I keep forgetting that. It's an Irish pub. Shot. Standard. 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 It really absorbs the culture, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Um, I tell you what, we've got, we've got an Irish pub for uh, for the show, and then we're actually uh, going to go tomorrow morning for breakfast at a uh, Only Fools and Horses bar where they do where they've got a, a lunch of Planet Hollywood. Yeah, and they've got the, they've got a uh, Trotters Independent Trader van. And then we've got Planet Hollywood for lunch, and then let's see if we can have a McDonald's dinner. Really <laughs> absorb the the full culture. Well, that's it. That's a great update. We're here. Tins is complaining because his phone won't connect to the internet. I'm wheezing like a traction engine. And Alex hasn't bothered turning up. And uh, I've been travelling for 25 hours. How long have you been travelling for? Yeah, see, actually, I am travelled as long as you. Because I left at 7am Tuesday morning. Okay. And it's, and it's now 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. Fine. But then it's eight hours ahead or whatever, isn't it? Fine. Yeah, actually, don't know why. Business. Standard. Standard. I was, I was business tie air, which I don't want to sound horrifically racist, but the seats weren't for like big people. <laughs> they were like they were like business class seats, but I, I had to like lie in a fetal position like this, trying to lie down. So it wasn't ideal, but it I was. I was thin air, very good actually. Thin air. Recommend it, yeah. Love it. Recommend it. Mm -hmm. Get a plug on that. Mentions <laughs> on YouTube. Other airlines are available. I did like tie air. Service is fantastic. Just the beds are a bit. Bit small, but thin air. Good massages, though, yeah? No, inappropriate, that. <laughs> or was it? It was like, oh, has to tell us about this, and then you walk off, but I think that's because I'm <laughs> just trying to be funny. <laughs> but, God, Hong Kong, eh? Yeah. Um, am I flying business in your economy? Yeah, you are, big uh, Do you want to come and sit on my little stool, and we can have a chat by business class, and, you know, you can share some of my warmed pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> you can have an orange juice, because we haven't drinking champagne, because you can't. Why not? Lightweight. Lightweight. Lads on tour. Hong Kong, here we come. Uh, yeah, great work, great work, Mr. Tindall. You know, um, what you really need when you're travelling is a World Cup winner to carry all your bags. It's a pretty impressive thing, but you know what it is? Just stay humble, yeah? Don't let it go to your head. Royalty, gold medals, but still ready to carry the bags for the lads. What an absolute team player. Look at that bag. Ram for the rafters with cash. Not the taxpayers, privately earned. <laughs> Morning after the night before, with my sidekick. I feel like we're creating some sort of team. Tins is turning into a bit of a social media animal at the moment. Some would say a young James Haskell, an older, wizened, sort of more out of touch, quite less funny James Haskell, but he's turning into a more of a social media animal. We're done with Hong Kong. We're off back to Japan. Where are we going? Fuck you, Oka. Pardon? <laughs> Uh, off to do some stuff, meeting 200 England fans, taking them through the do's and don'ts of Japan. Um, Mike, you feeling tired? I mean, we've, we haven't had a lot of sleep. You, you've had less sleep than I have. We haven't, we haven't really eased into our trip, have we? Um, no. But then going out in Hong Kong with Jason Leonard, um, you did a wise thing. <laughs> yeah. Squirrelling off. I did. Do you know what? I wanted to do it, but it just got very nausey. You know, like when I said it was just a bit of rug, like rugby chat, I think, you know, a couple of people were asking me about training routines and 
you know. <laughs> You know, what did I thought about? I guarantee no one asked me about training <laughs> routines. Drinking routines, maybe, but no one asked me about it. It was the time to leave when someone asked me about the Australian scrum. I was like, I don't give a <laughs> shit about the fucking Australian scrum. I don't care. So I bailed out, went upstairs, had a bit of me time, and then went to sleep. Um, I was worried about you this morning. I called a call reception, I called your phone. With the, with the phone call. But, but, but how good is that that we bonded? Because before, before, I would just let you burn. But now I've got like a real <laughs> vested interest in looking after you. I'm, I'm bonding, you know. That, that I think... I don't know what kind of famous pairing, kind of who you could have, like Zorro and who was the guy with? Who was the? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm like Inspector Clouseau. You could be like Cato, you know, the weird guy who jumps out there all the time, <laughs> <laughs> trying to fight him. Well, look, we've done with Hong Kong. We're at the airport now. We're back to Japan. I'm like Inspector Gadget. You're like Penny. Penny yes, Penny. <laughs> Inspector Gadget and Penny. If in the comments section for this video, you can think of any more famous pairings, that would be great. I can actually see we've got to get that a flight. It's relevant. Oi, by the way, we're flying economy now. Both of us have hit rock bottom. We started well. <laughs> they got us out here for the dinner. Now they've done us in the eye. <laughs> Terrible case of affairs. This is worrying, right? This is really worrying. There is the most extensive queue in the history of the world to get into an airport. I thought it must be like the, some rock band were in town. I thought Justin Bieber would turn up. Apparently, we're having this epic queuing adventure just to get into the airport. We haven't even begun to check in. Uh, I hope to God it's not one of those situations where we've queued for a whole and we don't even need to be here. I'm very worried about this, Tim. This is I'm not sure. We're not, we're not built for queuing. I don't even think the English are about queuing, but look at it. What's going on here? He's just so shocked to look at his phone for answers. You're not going to get any answers on there, mate. This is what I mean when I say queuing. People have think I'm taking the piss, but I'm absolutely not. Look at it. And that's where we need to be getting to. This is where we, we are now. Hell. Hell on earth. So incredibly, we've <laughs> discovered ourselves in the economy. Uh, Mike's wearing this year's really nice ensemble. He looks a bit like Warren from something about Mary. Uh, we're keeping it real humble. Uh, I bought myself another neck pillow. I said 10 of these at home, but my head doesn't fit into the seat area, which is a bit awkward. He's happy as Larry, pig and shit. So we're leaving Hong Kong now. After another epic adventure, we're off to uh, Japan for Kawoka this evening. Look at him, he is so happy with life. Look at that vacant expression. What is he thinking with his little earphones on? I want to ask him where his baseball is. Anyway, we'll uh, see you on the other side. <laughs> we're back. We're back in Japan, not Tokyo. I have no idea where we are right now. <laughs> I don't know either. What day it is. Do you know what it feels like? We've genuinely been travelling or been here for a week, but we actually arrived two days ago. <laughs> But I still haven't recovered from that 30,000 step walk around Tokyo. <laughs> How much did you say? 20k? What, what, how should we finish it? Oh, fuck you, sir. Fuck you, sir. 20k. Um, Tins literally doesn't know where he is. We're in Fukuoka now, in the back of a naughty taxi with full doily set up. <laughs> like, I can't now get into a taxi unless dude's wearing white gloves and there's a full doily. Um, there are lots of 7 Elevens in, in Japan as well. I'm not sure. Should have jumped on that brand bandwagon a long time ago. We're off the hotel now for a, you need to sleep, don't you? Yeah, you get a bit grouchy. Now. You get a bit grouchy because yeah, the. Well, it's food and sleep. Well, yeah, we, we need if we could have sleep then food. Yeah. But you, Tim's got to be upset with the form situation. There's a lot of form filling in, and what happens is pointless form filling in. Well, we well we said it was pointless. We're filling in we're, we're filling in forms right, and the guys at like uh, customs or whatever that or, or immigration they not don't look at the forms, just stuff it away. So Tim's decided to badly fill in a form, and he had Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> checking out the forms and was like because he said where are you staying instead of putting like grand height he went tokyo so like, we're in tokyo <laughs> so what what is your actual birthday what is, you've ticked business oh, what are you doing here probably woke up that's, that's not leisure <laughs> it's leisure I'll just take leisure then yeah <laughs> so he got he got a real he got the sort of the ninth degree or the fifth degree or the twelfth degree or the tenth degree <laughs> he got some sort of fucking degree that he, he's very upset about so we're now here uh trying to relax and we're desperate and we also haven't packed enough clothes the nickname thing's gone on, Crab and Goyle. We've had uh, Pinky in the Brain, I think it's quite a popular one. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a rest now and, and chill out and see what else we can get up to. 
We've finished the uh, England Rugby Travel event where we, the, the team, the band was back together. We are now at a very traditional uh, izakaya in Japan, which is an incredible little setup I want to show you. We've got our own private little room, which is perfect for the shenanigans we want to get up to. This is the perfect setup. I mean, it's not really chat central in here with these two social media gurus, but we've got a very own executive room. Hello to the dads. I, I was very concerned actually by the fact that these, you had to sit cross-legged, but actually the table kind of works differently, isn't it? We've got a full- A little trough. A little troughing room, which is perfect, but we've ordered some sake, or sake, as they call it. What is this? I don't know, get it in you, rule number one in Japan. Oh, the team, eh? Our own little private room, executive room. Do you know what we're missing? Nothing, we're very satisfied together. We're, very, we're, all, very, we're all very happy. Um, how do you think the show went? Uh, well, it wasn't a show, was it? it was well, show. everything's a show. For you, yeah. It was a show. You made the show. It's a live show. Everything's a live show. Uh, I thought it was. Uh, Alex, you're still struggling from a second yeah. hangover. From no, no, it's not a hangover. Ago. It's just, just a hurting head. Yeah, but you've got a hurting head because you're probably dehydrated. Yes. You're tired. Yeah. We've had absolutely no sleep. We've been going non stop. Um, it's a long three weeks. It, it, it is a long three weeks. We need to sleep and look after ourselves. We don't want to scratch every night. It's no good. We've done 72 hours. It honestly feels like we've been here for six to seven months. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't trained in five days. The rig's falling to pieces. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> I what, what, my feet are blistered. It's not great. Well, look, what's the worst that can happen? We're locked in a room with a load of warm sake and some root vegetables. We'll, we'll let you know how we'll we later, we'll be all naked oh, <laughs> That's what happens. When you've got a little room with a door shut, essentially, rules are rules. And in Japan, culturally, Whatever happens on a night out, you don't talk about it the next day, so you can pretty much do what the hell you like without. As long as you don't commit crime, burn anything down, you're fine. I mean, these lads were out the other night, and a Japanese salary man pulled up in a cab, opened the door, threw up, and then just shut the cab door, and drove off. <laughs> Boy, professional. <laughs> the intrepid adventurers. Broken. <laughs> I've come to a very special tea place slash coffee place. I found out my useful. Uh, at Best Coffee, which I didn't even know worked in Tokyo, but it does. And I'm very excited because look at this magical little place we found. All pour over coffees, all kind of V60s. Pretends to be bulbous, bald heads in a way. <laughs> yeah. Very exciting. Not a lot. Saying your lid's starting to catch up. I know, no, I know. Not a lot of Westerners here. But very niche little setup. All the lads standing sushi. Green tea set up. Do you like? I'm taking you here. I love you, yeah. I'm looking forward to all the little backstreet lessons. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh boy. Ginger. Thank you. This standing sushi bar is where I used to come all the time on my own. Hello. I've decided to bring Tins and Alex here. It's the same operator creating this amazing sushi. sushi. And unlike other places, if you're into a sushi wise, they uh, will um, sear this. Hello. They will uh, sear the salmon as you would see on the video. So it's incredible, unbelievably tasty. The only downside is it's standing and we physically walk for five hours. Uh, around Japan, which is absolutely amazing. Killing. But the guy's a magician and the food's amazing, so it's our first good stop destination. Never, 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 always, always business, business. straight business, business. straight business. Always. Oh, the whole team's gone silent as they're magicking up some of the coffee. What are you thinking about my coffee selection place? Well, look, you know it's legit when there's an, uh, a woman actually um, roasting the beans. Alex, you right, mate? I'm a bit worried. You're a bit... What's wrong? Oh, it's so much technology. That's, uh, no, no, I've got a bit of idea, idea. yeah. Sort of an idea. No, no, I just want to know, because you don't, you're not looking overly fresh. So I'm a bit concerned. You're feeling a bit sicky, you're right. Off. Off. Yeah. Yeah. All right, lads, relax. We're here for content. We're on a fucking boy's holiday. Because I tell you what, I wouldn't choose Tokyo if I was. So, we could go to... Why don't you do live shows in Vegas, then? Don't worry, that's cool. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. We do a live show in Vegas. Yeah, why don't we? Go to the Vegas 7s. Come on, lads. Let's see if we can all survive. Can you get a fight out I can there? go relive Well, I mean... I, <laughs> relive the last time. There's a lot of people who'd like to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who'd like to batter me. Is this where you're staying, Tints, when you pass off? 
Wait, why are you not in your full travel outfit? You think some of those that wait? <laughs> I want, I want, I was expecting linen suit, you know, I white actually, Panama. I, I regret, like I should have gone full Alan Wicker. Yes! Why have with, you not? A, with a white safari suit with sleeveless. Yes, uh, yeah. of course. And so, flared trousers. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. sort of cane. And then with like five or six blokes behind you carrying bags. Yeah, yeah, mem sub, mem sub. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I'm, I quite like a hangover, Alex. I think you're like, you know, like on the point of the live show where you start swearing, where you've really forgotten your sky roots and completely gone in mad. I feel like hangover is where you've started, where you finish off that live show. Bit edgy. Working with you, yeah, conver converse and swearing. Yeah, look, yeah. Do you remember that converse and swearing? I held it together for three years. Yeah. And now it's Just let it go. Look, every time I sit around and look at it, it looks like it struggles to walk. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's true. Yeah, it's really fine. Yeah, I can't really I can't walk, walk actually. <laughs> oh mate, they are hanging them, aren't they? Teeth like you. <laughs> Unimpressive. <laughs> yeah. Put that to sleep. yeah. Alex, you told this bloke one of your best stories again, have you? Seems to be the place to come for that. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan of House of Rugby, Acer. Last week's episode, loved it. <laughs> we'll get here and they'll be like, no, don't know. So we started about walking it. at 10 10 30, it's now 1 42. Oh, is it? We <laughs> stopped with that coffee. A three hour walk. Mate, I've got major problems with my feet now. <laughs> we'll get a cab back. <laughs> you right, we're going to get a cab back. I want to get a bang bus, there it is, get that one. Little rascal. Peter Cole. Do you want to give us a thumbs up outside the door, lads? It's about to go live. And we just saw smash two shots of tequila each. I'm flying. I've got heartburn as well. Ladies and gents, a very good evening to you all. And a very warm welcome to our first House of Rugby live from Tokyo. Yeah! show doesn't happen without two absolute ledgers. Would you please give a very warm welcome to the half and to Tins, Mr. James Haskell, Mr. Mike Tindall. 